More than a thousand tenants at the Coney Island houses have waited years for repairs to damage caused by Superstorm Sandy. The storm surge wrecked havoc on the NYCHA development and News 12 Brooklyn's Kitty Vasquez was there today for the groundbreaking that residents say is long overdue. It's been a long time coming, but 1,100 residents at NYCHA's Coney Island houses will finally see desperately needed repairs. I'm so glad that the work is starting because a lot of people have been getting sick with the mold and everything that, that's been happening over the four years. When Superstorm Sandy hit in 2012, it caused extensive damage. Our lobbies was flooded, sand for days, people don't have power, people don't have heat, some people can get water. Now the $90 million project will hopefully prevent future damage. New roofs, electrical systems, boilers, and generators that can withstand the onslaught of a torrential rain and floods, high winds, plus state-of-the-art barrier systems that will block floodwaters. State Assemblywoman Pamela Harris and City Council Member Mark Traeger instrumental in getting money to fix 33 NYCHA properties that were damaged. And we secured a historic grant of over $3 billion. Workers, including many from the community, will be busy for the next 29 months returning this development to its former glory. In Coney Island, Katie Vasquez, News 12, Brooklyn.